millions of lights, miles of ribbon, thousands of Christmas trees, and enough holiday cheer to light up the Florida sky. What's up, everybody? I'm David Bromstead, and although it seems like the holidays are just getting started, they've been underway for almost a year here at the Walt Disney World Resort. So how'd they get from this to this? We're going behind the scenes to see this magical transformation, and you won't want to miss it. Welcome to Behind the Magic Disney Holidays. I am so excited to take you on a behind the scenes amazing holiday ride. Come with me and I'll show you how it all comes together. Think of it, 1,300 trees. I, that's like a forest. 15 miles of garland, that's a road trip. 150 semi-trucks, can you imagine lining those up? That's beyond. 300,000 yards of ribbon, who does that? 1,300 trees, <laughs> 8.5 million lights, that's Unreal. Insane. Only Disney. The Walt Disney World Resort is made up of four theme parks and 24 resorts. And let me tell you, it truly may be the happiest and most decorated place on Earth. Each year, it takes an army of experts to turn everything, and I mean everything, into a magical wonderland. They work at night, behind the scenes, and undercover. While you're prepping the yard for Memorial Day or enjoying Labor Day at the beach, these experts have one thing on their mind. Holidays. We are here at Disney's Holiday Services Warehouse, and this is where all the magic happens. It is 54,000 square feet of Christmas genius decoration. I'm here to meet Lisa, and she's going to show us around. We don't get to see this very often, so this is a real treat. One step inside this warehouse brings a shock of amazement. I mean, look at this space. You could plunk a football field in here and still have wiggle room. It all makes sense when you hear how many halls Holiday Services has to deck each year. They are responsible for decorating for the holidays the Walt Disney World Company. Which includes Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Disney Hollywood Studios, and Animal Kingdom, along with all Disney resorts and vacation clubs. That much real estate means a whole lot of holiday decor. And Lisa Brockenix knows where every last ornament will be hung. Oh, look at all the fun. Ooh, cupcakes. Tell me. Holiday candies. Yeah, it so could good. be the bakery at Magic Kingdom. Nice. Where does this go? Um, balconies. Spectacle of dancing lights. Really? Yes. You're good. So where are you going to put a pickle? Germany. That's impressive because there's hundreds of thousands of ornaments all meticulously organized. I know that Disney always likes to keep things fresh and fantastic. Do you guys reuse ornaments from year to year or do you always have new ones come in? Um, we'll refresh them and then we'll also do new. We're going to go to the right here. Hold on. What? Is this all trees and... All and trees and all garland. All these aisleways are designated areas for parks and resorts. Everything that has a bag on it is ready to go. It's overwhelming. So, 1,300 trees, another 1,300 wreaths, 15 miles of garland, and 300,000 yards of ribbon. This is our ribbon room. Are you serious? Ribbon room? Give a room just for ribbon and lots of genius decorators to pull it all together. This is where all the magic happens. Where it all happens. Yes. Look at all the busy bodies just working away. Look how fun. And this is where you get your hands dirty, the creativity just comes to life, and this is where I would want to be in the air conditioning and being creative. Yes. <laughs> Here at Disney, 25 full time cast members live the holiday spirit 12 months a year. These are going to Animal Kingdom. That number quadruples when it's time to transform each and every property from Halloween to holiday decor. We load 40 trailers. Those trailers are turned up to 150 times. And then we start installing on third shift. Once the park closes and the guests have left, Lisa and her team of decorators spring into action, performing a Herculean kind of Disney magic, formerly reserved for Santa's elves. Third shift for us, coming in at 10 p.m. until 6, 7, 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. And something all new to be on the lookout for this year, the biggest, brightest holiday Mickey on display. 25 pieces in all, this ginormous wreath has to be assembled on a semi before it's hoisted onto one of the very first hotels built at Walt Disney World. It is going to be the largest wreath on property. It is um, a 25-foot Mickey silhouette face with 18-foot elliptical ears that are going to go on the exterior window facing the new Bay Lake Towers on the Contemporary Resort on the fourth floor. What goes up has to come down. 
and after the new year, it will take about 10 days to take everything apart, offload it at holiday services, and put it all away. Of course, by then, Disney decorators will be out shopping for next year's holiday decor. Question. So, I'm sure you have to get to a certain point where everything looks amazing. So, what is that point here in the Magic Kingdom right now? The armatures. Armatures. Three. What's an armature? Um, it's like um, like a silhouette. It's a metal structure where we put decor. It'll have a wreath and um, a large lantern. I mean, you got wreaths going on all of these things here, right? You know, they're not directly centered, right? Not yet. Okay. Well, they yet. Mean? Yes. There's a strategic plan What's on the how plan? we because center. Because it's kind them. of driving me crazy. I'm like, ah, they're not centered. What's the well, plan? Well, we line it up from the train station and from the castle. Oh. So there are our strategic points of where we make sure that all the candles are straight. Because you know, uh, you know, like the people who walk in here and all the fans are going to be like, why is that crooked? Right? Exactly. Right? No crooked. No crooked. No, no crooked, crooked here at Disney. Yes. What about tonight? Tonight is all of the overhead garlands. Okay. Uh, those armatures, the exteriors of the building. Okay. Uh, Tomorrowland, um, finishing up the stages there. And that'll take most of the night tonight to finish this. I, it should. That's a lot of work. Get this, in only nine short hours, imagine, while we're all sleeping, Magic Kingdom's Main Street and Town Square, including all interiors, are draped with layers of holiday finery, so that by morning, it's picture perfect for the thousands of guests who walk through the front entrance. Coming up, the Walt Disney World Resort has some of the biggest, grandest Christmas trees around. 65 feet, that's... Insane. Where do these giants live the rest of the year? I'll show you. Plus, see how this year's holiday lights on Disney's iconic Cinderella Castle are nothing short of spectacular. I never knew that you could make the castle look even prettier. And later, an amazing lighting display that pretty much defies description. You just have to see it to believe it. Disney calls these huge trees icon trees, and many are over 35 feet tall. So big, in fact, that they must be stored in sections. They're absolutely massive. How tall do these things get? 65. 65 feet. That's insane. And it's really smart that you work on it in sections. Can you imagine working on a 65 foot tree all put together? Oh, no. We'd have to have a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> that would be dangerous, I think. Yes. Now, how many trees are you guys responsible for? Approximately 1,300. That's insane. That's a lot of trees. That's a lot of decorating. Do you get tired of it? Never. Love that. Good answer. And it all starts here. All the magic really starts in this building. Yes. It's no surprise that during the holidays, Disney goes crazy with Christmas trees. They're all artificial, and believe it or not, they start out like yours and mine. If you look at the trees that you bought for your own home, there are two styles. They're hinge styles, and there are the ones that have the rings with all the little colored limbs. Well, here it's just Disney-sized. Which can mean enormous, like this 20-footer. This tree is for our new Kadani village. These cast members are attaching the limbs, which have already been decorated and lit into the center pole and although it looks easy it's done meticulously so they're not damaged in any way the lifespan of those trees are five to six years and that's a big deal since so much time and talent go into making each one look perfectly at home wherever it's placed and no matter where that may be the trees decor follows a particular theme like victorian in magic kingdom who makes all these Ornaments. I mean, who? I mean, obviously they're very custom. Right. Everything's custom to Disney. It Disney is. does everything custom. It I is. know. I know you guys. So, uh, who manufactures all these things? Here, look at this. Some it's of like the talent within. Bigger Walt than Disney. my head. Um, actually, so can I tell you what this is? Yeah. It's a globe. It's a globe that goes over the tall lights that like go down the highway. Seriously. Seriously. And we make the crown. And we paint the inside Innovation, and put guys. a bulb inside. Genius. 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 Whole. It's the biggest piece of popcorn I've ever seen. Now, do you guys have that made somewhere, or do you guys make it here? One of our artisans, they uh, sculpt and carve and make molds and make 600 pieces out. each. Then they're painted and airbrushed to look natural and drilled with a hole for easy stringing. So yes. here's some of the finished popcorn. Look at this. This is so fun. Disney does everything, like, big, don't they? They, <laughs> they have to. <laughs> this is going on a 65-foot tree. It's got right. to have some presents, Custom. right? Custom. No off-the-shelf.
The strands are then hung on each section of the Magic Kingdom tree, starting with a 26-foot wide base. I've got to see. I got to see more. I mean, this so is just. Show you more. This is just the beginning, right? So watch your head. We're gonna go through this area. I love this. I love this right here. Just underneath the Christmas tree reminds me of when I was a kid. Just like I used to go under it and like hang out and just look at all the lights from under there. Brings back such good memories. How did these gigantic tree sections get to their different holiday homes? Not very easily. All of those large icon trees are moved out of the warehouse and loaded by crane on flatbed trailers. And then during the middle of the night, this convoy of trucks makes the arduous journey to various drop-off points where each tree will be assembled on site. They are cabled down and they adjust the cables to keep the trees straight. And then they go in and adjust the ornamentation and fluff up the branches. And voila, pure, fabulous Christmas tree eye candy. I gotta see more. But not every tree here is gigantic. There are plenty of regular sized Christmas trees too. Check out this aisle. It's filled with trees that are ready to install throughout the parks. Most will end up inside stores and restaurants. How long does it take to set up just one tree, one 65-foot tree? At least six and a half hours. At least. That's not bad. I mean, it's well, that's the average. huge. <laughs> it's, a, it's a huge tree going up in six and a half hours. Okay, I have like an eight-foot tree. I'm sorry, I don't get that thing decorated and put up. It's got to take at least 12, 14 hours. You guys are doing this in six and a half hours. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> so imagine this. You know when you start thinking about your own Christmas? Like around Thanksgiving, yeah. we're finished decorating the Walt Disney World Company. You guys are really good here, aren't you? They've got a great process. You saw this disassembled in the warehouse? It was huge then. Now look at it, 65 feet of crazy Christmas magic. You don't grasp the grandness until you're here. Disney magic at its finest. Check this out. The newest park, Animal Kingdom, also goes crazy for Christmas. During the holidays, its daily parade transforms from Mickey's Jam and Jungle Parade to Mickey's Jingle Jungle Parade, filled with lots of Christmas cheer and plenty of favorite Disney characters. Up next, I'll take you inside one of Disney World's most exclusive suites. Look at all the detail to see how it gets draped in holiday grandeur. Plus, you think your hands are full putting up a few strands of holiday lights? Well, meet the wizards who light up an entire castle. We've covered the castle with an overlay of about a little over 200,000 white LEDs. And a little later, see how Disney's horticulture team plants holiday cheer throughout the parks. these ornaments, all the shapes, the sizes, the color, they're just incredibly inspiring. I could do some serious decorating, serious decorating with this. So, well, I got a job for you if no you're offering. No way. I need details. I need to know the color palette because I know you guys are very specific about everything that you put in every place. Everything's going to The only thing color. I can tell you is going to be regal. Mm, and regal. we'll need to go pick out the ornaments. Ooh. I think these look pretty regal, those right? Are good. That was regal. a great pick. Good colors. That was, that was, those were good. So you're going to keep this a secret forever? Are you going to tell me? Okay. Obviously, this is my tree. It's obviously blank and unfluffed, right? Yes. Where is this going? <laughs> the Castle Suite at Magic Kingdom. Really? The you, Castle Suite? You will be the first to ever decorate the Castle Suite. I'm going to cry. Here, take that. Okay. okay. And put both of those wires and wrap it down and around, and then right for your placement on how you want it to hang. Okay, cool. Nice. You wrap it. And like don't any wrap time. it over the electric. Oops. <laughs> glass. That's glass. It's glass. This is glass. This is glass. I didn't think you guys would use glass anymore. That's. Well, so we're phasing out glass. Do they break? Um, yeah, they, they do. Break so we, we have a few spares for replacement. Looking pretty good. This is gorgeous. Yeah.
My specially decorated tree will live inside the most photographed building at Disney World, Magic Kingdom's iconic Cinderella Castle. Welcome to the top of Cinderella Castle. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Look at all the detail. Of course, well, nothing but the best for Cinderella's guests. It's so incredible, I can't even handle it. It's so much more than I thought it was going to be, but it's exactly how it should be. Disney does everything perfect, don't they? Beds are amazing. I mean, look at the ceiling. I'm sure you've seen it a thousand times, but it's pretty good, right? Every time you walk through, it's yeah. just like the very first time. Oh my gosh. Love the stained glass. I love all the touches. The floor is amazing. I'm, 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 sh I'm overwhelmed. Well, let's go ahead and check out the Royal Parlor. Eight Floors Up is the beautifully crafted Cinderella Suite. The period design borrows from Charles Perrault's original story set in a 17th century French palace. Royal parlor it is. Yeah, this is good. And here's my tree. This is a great space saver, a tall skinny tree. So it gives you the impact, especially in a small room like this, without taking up too much space. Oh, okay. You good digging tip. it? You like that? I love you it. like that tip? But here's what I'm thinking. Any princess who decorates like this on the inside will blow your mind with her design on the outside, especially during the holidays. I never knew that you could make the castle look even prettier. Congratulations. Thank you very I'm, much. I'm impressed. Tell Thank me all the details I need to know. Uh, well, the basic numbers are that uh, we've covered the castle with an overlay of about a little over 200,000 white LEDs. That's a whole lot of lights. That's a whole lot of lights, yeah. yeah. 60 people worked tirelessly for three weeks to lace those 200,000 LEDs and 500 strobe lights through specially dyed fishing nets. The result is remarkably undetectable on the castle walls in the daylight. <laughs> When we first turned them on for the very first time in front of the guests, the gasps up and down the street, and you saw people start to tear up, oh. and it was just, yeah, it was, it was kind of a, a real dream come true moment. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Flip a switch, and it's true magic, kind of like the original inspiration for the display. If it's Cinderella's castle that's being lit up like this, why is it being lit up like this? And so we had to come up with, with the storyline, yeah. So what's the why? Well, <laughs> it really works out great because, you know, the idea is that Cinderella's been asked, how would you like to decorate your castle for Christmas? And she says, well, gosh, you know, one of the most, my most prized possessions, one of my most beautiful possessions is my beautiful glass slipper. Of course. Do you think that we could make the castle look and shimmer and shine like my glass slipper. And she goes to the fairy godmother. The fairy godmother says, hmm, well, I'll need a little help, but I think I can do it. <laughs> and she actually stands right there on the balcony and brings the castle to life one section at a time by waving her wand. A wave of the fairy godmother's wand combined with a few sprinkles of enchantment and the Cinderella castle shimmers and shines like twinkling icicles. It's elegant and mesmerizing and breathtaking and classic for kids of all ages. The holiday at Cinderella Castle is pure Disney magic. It was all very much about the flow, one piece into the next, and we've chopped up the castle into uh, 105 different circuits. Um, okay. to, to get all those elements to separate, and then we just flow them together as they fade up. It's just, it's remarkable. It's so, it's perfect. I mean, everything at Disney is perfect, but this is so perfect and beautiful, and I'm kind of obsessed with it. It's really <laughs> good. You know, I am too. I am too. I really enjoy doing this. Uh, again, the key words for the design were elegant, um, fluid, organic. And, it, and you've achieved it. Yeah. You've gone way beyond, way beyond. It's unreal. I'm... I love it. Thank you. I do. I love it. Thank you very much. Check this out. The Cinderella Castle is surrounded by 74 large LED spotlights that can wash the castle in several colors or combination of colors. In fact, more colors than your eye can actually see. When we come back, take a few million lights, a Hollywood Studio City scene, sync them to music, and see faces light up. 
This may be the biggest and brightest holiday display you've ever seen. And it can't help but put you into the spirit of the season. Plus, 1,000 pounds of honey, 800 pounds of flour, and 35 pounds of spices. See what Disney's whipping up next.